Hey magicians and Tiki Tribe, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be discussing the new Animal Jam features and updates, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. So let's get into the video. Light it up, light it up, light it up. The first update that we're going to talk about is the Autumn Armor. Animal Jam has decided to bring back this armor since the season is about to change. For those of you that don't know, this is what the autumn armor looks like. It is by far my favorite armor. I think it looks really cool and very majestic, so I would really recommend buying it because it just looks really cool. The next update that Animal Jam decided to include is new extravaganza pets. Animal Jam has decided to add millipedes, poodle moths, and vultures to Animal Jam. So this is what they look like. I really like how they made the millipede furry. I'm not quite sure millipedes are furry. I'll have to look that up though. I really think the poodle moth looks super freaking cute. I'm definitely gonna try and get some of those. I think the vulture is interesting. I don't exactly know how to explain it, but I think it's interesting that they've decided to add vultures to the game. As pets, of course, I feel like it could be a little foreshadowing to some new animals that are going to be introduced to Jama sometime soon, but that's just me. It is Animal Jam's ninth birthday this year, so for those of you that don't already know, Animal Jam usually hosts a party for their game's birthday every year where you can purchase birthday items and you can jump on top of a giant cake with your buddies. You can also redeem the code AJBDAY9 for a birthday cake. Animal Jam has birthday cakes that you can buy at the party sometimes. And if you redeem the code, you'll get a birthday party cake. So why don't we do that right now? I haven't done that yet. Here we go. So this is what the cake looks like. I actually have quite a few of these cakes. I'll put them out so you can see what they look like. As you can see here, Animal Jam releases a cake every year for their birthday except for their seventh year where they released quite a few, which I have managed to collect and hold on to, frankly because I forgot they existed. But they do change every year, so make sure to keep an eye out for them in the future. Animal Jam has brought back Graham's Observatory. For those of you that don't already know what the den looks like, I did do a den tour on it, so feel free to check that out. But it's a fairly big den, and I believe it only costs seven diamonds, and it's really cool. I really like to decorate this den because there's just so much space. You can even run up these tree branches, and I just, I think it's really cool. I would totally recommend buying this den, 100%. Pet dragonflies have now been added to the world of Jama. You can now purchase these pets in the diamond shop and play as them in the play as your pet party. This pet has some pretty unique actions. When you sit down, it lands on the ground at kind of an angle to represent sitting. When you dance, it rocks from side to side with you. When you sleep, it lands and it sleeps. When you hop, it also hops with you. It hits the ground and bounces up and down. When it plays, it goes around in loop-de-loops with some sparkles. I think the idea of adding the dragonfly is very interesting. I think it's kind of cute, but I also think that it could be cuter. I haven't tried dressing it though, so that might be a definite improvement. Last but not least, we have our Wild Weekend update. It's pretty wacky, and I actually really enjoy it. For those of you that don't already know, Animal Jam has added a feature where you can turn your items completely upside down, as if you're walking on the ceiling. I actually really do like this feature, I think it's really clever. And it reminds me of The Labyrinth. For those of you that haven't seen that movie, I completely recommend it. It's fantastic. The only problem I have 
with this feature is the fact that if you have items that are too close together, it's hard to hit the up arrow because it tries to move this one instead. But other than that, I think it's a really cool feature and I will probably be using it quite frequently because I just think that it's super awesome. There is an announcement that I did miss and that's because it hasn't exactly happened yet and I was going to cover it more when it did happen. Animal Jam has announced that they are adding Arabian horses to Jama. And I am pretty excited about this. I am hoping that it's going to look better than the Clydesdale. I personally think that the Clydesdale was not done well. I am not a fan of it. So I'm hoping that the Arabian horse is going to look so much better. And I am really pumped for this one because I adore horses. So let's cross our fingers. In my opinion, this Wild Weekend feature is really cool. Animal Jam has sold items in shops where you have items that are already flipped, but they haven't given you the ability to flip your den items, and I actually really like this new feature. I also like the dragonflies. I think they could be a bit cuter, but they're not bad. I actually do like them. <laughs> I might start collecting them because I think they're super cute. I'm glad that they brought Graham's Observatory back because it gives jammers the opportunity to purchase the den in case there are jammers that have just become members or new members that haven't gotten the chance to purchase the den yet. It's actually a really cool den and I 100% recommend buying it. I think that these new extravaganza pets are really interesting. I'm personally really excited for the poodle moths. I'm going to try and collect as many as I can because I think they're super cute. Anyways, you guys, I wanted to thank you all for the birthday wishes. My birthday went fairly well, and I had a really good time. And I appreciate that you guys, you know, reached out and said happy birthday. It means a lot to me. That is all that I have for this video today. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later. Light it up, light it up, light it up. I am going to make a labyrinth music video because this new update gives me labyrinth vibes hardcore. <laughs>